Hey, good morning everyone. I'm uh, sitting in my hotel waiting for the weather, as you can see. Not flying today, but uh, I've been thinking a lot about this guy that stole the plane and crashed it. And uh, I want to talk about it. I've got some thoughts I want to share with you. And I want to see what you guys think about it. There's a lot of things that could change from this. So um, let's start a discussion. Let's talk about it. All right, so the story is that um, a pilot, well, actually, I don't think he was even a pilot, a ground worker working in an airport, ground crew, uh, got in an airplane and um, stole it, basically, in Seattle. Uh, his name is Rich, and um, he stole it, took off, got on with ATC, and he was flying around doing barrel rolls and doing a bunch of stunts and kind of having a good time and i guess um listening to the audio which i'll leave the official audio and the story in the description below so apparently he um kind of went on a suicidal mission which you know i don't really like talking about this stuff because it is a tragedy there's no doubt it's a tragedy but it's interesting to think about why people do what they do and um, why he did what he did look first of all i'll say i've worked that job i've been ground crew before I'm a pilot now and I fly and uh, it's a pretty sophisticated job to be able to fly you know an airliner or at least fly you know some kind of um, multi-engine aircraft but <clears throat> the truth is is this guy he was brutally honest with ATC about what he was going to do and the first thing that I can think of is he said look I don't want to hurt anybody um, I've got some screws loose and he just kind of took it out on uh, the airplane <laughs> you know he was doing barrel rolls and he was uh, doing loops and stuff and it's like it's kind of weird but the thing that I've been thinking about a lot is, is is what kind of drove this guy to do what he did and you know like I said it's a tragedy and in uh, his poor family what they're going through I'm just uh, I'm heartbroken for his family I seriously am you know but saying that the truth is is that he still did what he did and there are plenty of people in this country every single day who suffer from some kind of depression or suffer from some kind of uh, you know mental uh, disability or whatever you want to call it they actually need help they need some kind of assistance and this guy could have been that could have not been I'm not sure it's it's only about two days old but it seems like uh, some more information is slowly coming out every single day but the part that troubles me is that when listening to the audio ATC didn't really seem to know what to do and look you know, I'll give them, I'll give them that. What do you do in this situation? You know, you, we've had 9-11, which is the biggest tragedy the U.S. has seen in a long time. But um, what do you do? You're, if, if you're ATC, just, you know, put a comment below. What would you have done? Would you have done the same thing they did? They were trying to keep him calm. They were trying to talk to him civilly. Um, at the same time, they're like, we need to get uh, fighter aircraft in the air. We need to intercept this airplane, which is what happened. But what, how do you deal with that situation when there's nothing that you can do to help the guy? He's by himself. Thankfully, nobody was on the airplane. And you have to do your job, be professional, but also do everything you can to absolutely help him, but feel completely useless at the same time. And I don't know, maybe ETC could have done more. Maybe they could have got like a counselor on the radio to talk this guy out of the air. I don't know it, it it seemed a little like not enough was done now like I said I'm not blaming anybody I'm not saying anything bad about what they did they did what they had to do but I feel like a little bit more could have been done I don't know. you tell me what you guys think in the comments from my perspective uh, I've worked that job I know he wasn't getting paid very much money you know maybe eight ten dollars an hour I don't know exactly what he was getting paid but really was not enough to really have any form of commitment to the company Maybe he wasn't treated very well. I can't tell you how many times I've worked a job where I was kind of bullied and I said, I don't know why I'm doing this. Every single day I go to work and it just be miserable. Uh, thankfully now I don't have that. I'm pretty happy where I'm at, but um, I've just, I can understand where this guy was coming from. I truly can. I can understand what he was going through to the fact that you're, you're miserable. You go to work and you're miserable or you have a job that you're just depressed and nobody knows about it and nobody tries to help you. And that's just really sad to me that it took that for somebody to notice that this guy needed some help. 
it took him stealing an airplane and trying to have a little bit of fun just honestly some stress relief for him to get noticed and that's just really depressing to me that's really that's sad I feel like he could have uh, he could have gone a different path and he could have got the help that he needed so anyways that's kind of my opinion I wanted to share that with you guys I, I want to start a discussion I really do I want to see what you guys think pilots non-pilots ATC if you're watching this video I'd love to hear your opinion let's start a discussion let's talk about it uh, what do you think is going to happen now are they going to change regulations are they going to have to be a two-person policy and are they going to do that on the ground now are they going to restrict ground workers to the airplanes because you know these these guys they know how to taxi they know how to start up they know how to do all that stuff because they're around the airplanes every single day and it doesn't take much to figure it out that's a security issue if you get somebody who wants to do damage they can steal an airplane pretty quickly we got to think about what that's going to do how's it going to change security in general aviation give me a comment below tell me what you guys think again the just in the description will be the official article and the audio for um for what happened anyways those are my thoughts follow me on social media as you can see here on screen and uh and if you can subscribe and let's keep this conversation open let's keep talking about this Hopefully it doesn't happen again. And my heart goes out to the people who are affected by this tragedy. So anyways, um, thanks for watching you guys and, uh, and I'll talk to you soon.